How's it going, Dopamon fans? If you've been following along, you know we've been talking about the 2022 NHL Awards. Go check out all the other videos we have on our predictions on the channel if you haven't already. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment because we want to know your opinion. But this one's all about the Vesna, awarded to the league top goaltender. I think this one is going to be fairly unanimous. Um, mm -hmm. We'll go to our... Our nominees here. I have UC Sarosh, who I'll get to in a second, Igor Shesterkin, and Jakob Markstrom. And while I have Igor Shesterkin and um, Markstrom as well, I have Ilya Sorokin. Just running through my guys' numbers real quick in 53 games, Shesterkin had a 36 13 and 4 record with a 935 save percentage and a 207 goals against average with six shutouts. Markstrom, 63 games. 37, 15, and 9, with a 9.22, a 2.22, and 9 shutouts to lead the league. And UC Soros, with a league-high 67 games played as a goalie, 38, 25, and 3, 9, 18, 2, 64, and 4 shutouts. And for Ilya Sorokin, in 52 games, he had 26 wins, 18 losses, and 18, oh, sorry, 8 overtime losses. Making him exactly like, you know, 26 wins, 26 total losses, including overtime. Uh, the goals against average of 2.4 isn't remarkable, but a save percentage of 925 on a team that didn't make the playoffs is. I think Sorokin had an incredible year. He's, you know, was the only bright spot on the Islanders, almost brought him to, you know, in the last, maybe say 15, 20 games, you know, like a kind of hopeful, you know, NHL playoff playoff kind of run there so the last wild card uh, they didn't make it but i think sorokin has been amazing and uh for the future at least you know you have a good use it's only 26 you know you can the next decade or something the islanders could maybe you know have a good goaltender i think he's pretty good and i think that he should get you know some consideration but i think if not making the playoffs you know it is going to be a factor that he won't so yeah uh I same similar idea here for Yushi Sarosh. Uh, I don't think gets enough recognition, so I put him on the list. I think Shesterkin and Markstrom are going to be unanimous finalists. I think they'll be on everyone's ballot in the top three at least. Here's a question for you, Alex. And we didn't prep this ahead of time. Who is the best goaltender currently in the NHL, in your opinion? Well, that's a tough one. That's supposed to be what this is about, right? That was the. You know, the award to the league's top goaltender. Yeah. I mean, if you not the best season, about, but who's the best right? goalie? Yeah. Like the best season, you know, I'm guessing that we're gonna you know, we're gonna call him the finalist and the winner here. I'm gonna predict it in a minute. But uh, as far as like who is actually the best, you know, I I consider it Andre Vasilevsky. Yeah, and that's what I was going for here. He's on neither of ours ballots. Mm -hmm. It's a little. A little suspect, if you ask me, but I think he I was, I think he's only won one Vesna, which is surprising considering his numbers. And I don't know. I don't know why he's not more heavily favored each and every single year. Um I'm sure he will get a huge amount of consideration for the Vesna this year, but for two people who know their hockey to not have Vasilevsky on their nominations is interesting. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. a little observation there. Anywho, even if he was on this list, I think, I think the Vesna is pretty cut and dry this year. It's the guy who some people have on their heart trophy ballot, let alone their Vesna ballot. Mm -hmm. And we both agree that this year's Vesna winner will be Igor Shesterkin. He has a 9.35 save percentage and an almost sub two goals against average. That's mm -hmm. incredible. And without this guy, I don't know where the Rangers would be in the standings. In a very in a condensed schedule, too. Yeah. Condensed schedule in a crowded metro. Rangers might not even be able to be a playoff team if they had to go with Georgia the whole year. Mm -hmm. And this guy's going to win his very fair share of Vesna's, I think. Uh, for a long time there, we had the best goalies in the league were all Finnish. Now they're all Russian. There's a lot of really good Russian goalies out there. Shesterkin is part of that. Sorokin is part of that. Uh, Vasilevsky, obviously, 
we got a bunch of guys waiting in the wings to take over. Bobrovsky is still kicking around. Yeah. We have Igor Shosturkin winning our Vesna on our Dopamon Awards here. Everything else to say on Igor or any of the other three? Nope. Nope. That is all. All right. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you made it this far in the video, who do you have nominated for your Vesna? Who do you have winning? Are we insane to not have Vasilevsky on our nominations? Let us know. Call us out. We want you to call us out. We'll, we'll take on uh, anybody. Yeah, I love when people call Ryan wrong. Yeah. I'm wrong all the time. Anywho. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on this video. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. We'd really appreciate you guys hanging around. Till next time. Peace. Thank you.